we can eliminate an entire class of weapons of mass destruction by rendering them useless. And in the process, we can create a global early warning system to prevent pandemics and strengthen global health. Do we have the political will to get it done? The answer has to be yes, and we must act now. Threats posed by biological weapons have been evolving for nearly a century. Originally developed in the 1940s and 50s for use on the battlefield, they were later considered a strategic deterrent against nuclear weapons. The COVID-19 pandemic raises questions about their significance for the threat landscape of the future. Has the pandemic made biological weapons more or less attractive to those who might possess them? And to what ends? Given the extent of harm that COVID-19 has caused and the lessons that nations might take from it, we have built out three future scenarios that describe the full range of pathways that biological weapons might take in this new normal. In the most optimistic future, fears of biological threats made vivid by COVID-19 hasten a new era of international cooperation. This world experiences a strong recovery from COVID-19 due to robust public health investments. Nations refrain from developing biological weapons. Instead, they renew commitments to biosafety and biosecurity norms, invest in early warning systems, and expand commercial partnerships to strengthen biodefenses in order to prevent another seismic biological event in the future. In this scenario, countries learn all the right lessons from the devastation that this pandemic has caused. And we work towards a world where biological weapons are never developed and never used. The Biological Weapons Convention has limits, but countries can come together to build a strong system of early warning and response that would render biological weapons useless. In the most pessimistic future, COVID-19 has convinced many countries that biological weapons are a powerful deterrent in an uncertain security environment. This world experiences a weak recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. Investments in public health and biodefense are shrinking. Authoritarianism, disinformation, and conflict among nations are escalating. Biological weapons proliferation is fueled by a severe erosion of global laws and norms low barriers to entry enabled by advances in biotechnology, and the widespread belief that biological weapons provide a powerful, strategic deterrent. The decades-long taboo against weapons of mass destruction has crumbled. In this scenario, nations have drawn all the wrong conclusions from the harm of COVID-19. We are entering a new era of biological weapons proliferation and potential use. The disinformation campaigns that started up during the pandemic continue. They are creating a perception of widespread biological weapons programs when most nations are just trying to enhance their biodefenses and prevent future pandemics. This is the world that we need to work tirelessly to prevent. This world experiences an average recovery from COVID-19 where public health and pandemic preparedness is not prioritized. International institutions continue to decline. Transparency and cooperation remain low. Disinformation is rife. The bioeconomy is growing rapidly, but without sufficient guardrails in place. Lower technical barriers to entry and expanded dual-use research without robust global biosecurity norms and infrastructure threaten a new wave of proliferation. This scenario is mostly business as usual. Most nations have learned next to nothing from the pandemic. Sadly, it's where we'll most likely end up in a few years, unless we do things differently than we've done in the past. Biological weapons are considered weapons of mass destruction. Today, nations might value them for their targeted use in asymmetric and hybrid warfare, for example, as assassination tools or weapons of terror against their populations. If we want to avoid this world, there's a lot of work to do, starting with strengthening global norms against biological weapons and improving transparency to defeat ongoing disinformation campaigns. Concerted action is required to secure a desired future 
where biological weapons are no longer a threat to humanity. This means transparency, investment, responsible innovation, and cooperation. We can take biological weapons off the table by denying their effects and also strengthen our resilience against future pandemics.